I welcome you to our YouTube channel which is purely educational material related to uh, the field of journalism and mass communication. This is a post-secondary material that is intended to enhance your professionalism in the area of journalism and mass communication. My name is Katamu Nedinan and uh, tonight I will take you through the session of uh, audience analysis. Whenever you think about a message, it is always crucial to begin with a thorough awareness of your audience and the many factors or characteristics pertaining to your audience. This is what we call audience analysis. Understanding one's audience is one of the most important elements that facilitates effective communication. Audience analysis is the process of examining readers, listeners, and viewers. This analysis is what helps you coin a PR message that will eventually make the audience respond in the very way you desire. Audience analysis is when you consider all the pertinent elements of defining the makeup and demographics or characteristics of your audience. As a public relations practitioner or journalist, you must define the audience with, with particular care and sensitivity in which case knowing how to appeal to humans' basic emotions and needs is essential. This consists of assessing the audience to make sure the information provided to them is up at the appropriate level. The audience is often referred to as the end user and all communication need to be targeted towards them in a well-defined format. In other words, the information that you are targeting to make person as communication must be targeted towards a defined audience. Precisely, audience analysis can help you gain valuable insight about your readers and this can help you to choose and develop relevant and meaningful topics that will create impact to deliver your intended purpose of communication. It can also help you to create a peer message plan that is tailored effectively to your audience with appropriate turn, tone, style, language and content. After considering all the known factors, a profile of the intended audience can be created allowing writers to write in a manner that is understood by the intended audience. Now that we have looked at audience analysis from its initial stages, in terms of introduction, let us look at media. If a question is posed to us, what is media? The answer would be, media refers to a vehicle that delivers information to the public, and these include newspapers, magazine, newsletters, radios, television, internet, phones, banners, mention it but a few. Now let's examine the roles of media in society. One most important role is education. Journalists carefully conduct research about needs of humanity which they identify and provide relevant education to the masses through newspapers and magazines in the very line of answering the curiosities of human interest. Such educative messages significantly contribute to improvement in people's live livelihood. Likewise, government and civil society organizations pass educative material to masses through newspapers and magazines. In most cases, journalists or media practitioners will pick information from these sources, process it and package it in a more effective way for members of the public to clearly understand them. This, I repeat, is purely educative role of the media in society. Role number two of media in society is information. Media, 
like newspapers and magazines play a greater role of creating awareness to the public. They keep masses updated about interesting, forthcoming, prevailing national issues and the just concluded entertainment event, hence enabling people to base on them as they come up with uh, constructive decisions in society. Role number three is entertainment. Newspapers or magazines run entertaining stories for people to enjoy. They enable them to relax, hence breaking their boredom, especially during their times of leisure. Number four is mobilization. Journalists through newspapers and magazines mobilize people towards a common development obligation. Now, the fact that people have got strong belief in information availed to them through media, it becomes easy for journalists to effectively focus on mobilization campaigns and uh, because of this, they drum support for policies in terms of policy makers which prompts now all support policy makers to draw closer to using magazines, newspapers, radios, televisions to actually drum support or mobilize support for the policies that the country has established. Take an example. Towards uh, election period, the Electoral Commission may opt to the media to mobilize masses to participate in national elections. Role number five is uh, sensitization. Policymakers use newspapers and magazines to sensitize members of the public on issues of social welfare. In this case, they clearly explain to the people the need to embrace a given progressive uh, policy that is becoming easier for members of the public to interpret relevant information contained in the message and make use of them. For instance, sensitization against HIV, AIDS, corruption, and illiteracy amongst people. Now what is trending is the parish development model. You will see how media is being used to sensitize people on opting for this better valued government program which is intended to deliver people from poverty. Number six is agenda setting. Journalists identify topics of the public concern and develop them through newspapers and magazines. Such topical issues attract people's concern and begin treat them as their major issues of discussion. People continuously get encouraged to express their views on such topics which are in most cases considered by National Planning Authority for official welfare improvement within a state society. Role number seven is the watchdog role. Journalists or media practitioners through newspapers and magazines express oppressing situations and uh, people that are dangerous to the public for legal authorities to identify them and uh, appropriately address their concerns in this context. This commendable work classifies newspapers and magazines as a mirror to society and a keeper to those who cannot be heard by running authorities for better living conditions. Role number eight in the context of the role of media in society is advertisement. Personnel in newspapers receive adverts from the public, appropriately package them and disseminate them to the people in a more convincing manner. Here they play the role of connecting the buyer to the seller. This enables people to access basic commodities to improve on their welfare. On the other hand, advertising facilitates development of business enterprises by enhancing in increment in their sales, thereby boosting their profits for further investment. In turn, you'll find this is creating mob employment to many unemployed people within society. Role number nine uh, is linking government to the general public. 
government makes use of newspapers and magazines to have its information adequately disseminated to her members in the entire society. In this context, government considers this as the easiest and most effective means of delivering her message to the people. On the other hand, media practitioners gather problems from members of the public and arrange them in order and air them through newspapers and magazine to bring them to the attention of government, provoking them to react towards solving these uh, problems in society, which at the end enhances the standards of living. Role number 10 is attract attention of uh, relief bodies. Constant exposure of disasters through newspapers and magazines capture the attention of humanitarian bodies towards the affected area and in turn they get charged to tender and render assistance towards them. Take the example of the, re the recent flooding in Mbale city through media publication and continuous airing of content related to these floods and the destruction they caused. This provoked the, the office of the Prime Minister alongside other non-governmental agencies to take reaction of relief to the area of Mbale to support people regain life again. Well, thank you very much uh, for opting to be with us in our educational uh, series where we are focusing on our audience analysis we have looked at what audience analysis is and the role of media in society. Catch me again in the next episode in which we're discussing why audience analysis. My name is Ned Nankatam. I thank you again for subscribing to our channel. If you've not yet subscribed, just do it. For updates are coming, you'll be notified if you have sub subscribed of what is coming next and you will not miss any of our series. I wish you the best.